All right, what's up, guys? I am uh, gonna do a recording on the dribbling challenge. <clears throat> Hope you're having a good day. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sucking on some Werther's Originals right now. Fuck me. Werther's Originals are definitely an old people candy. Mm. But, I mean, I'm still technically a young adult. I'm 29 right now. But where those originals are pretty fucking good. Uh, I want to do the dribbling challenge right now. That would be fun to record it just to keep me honest because I get kind of bored of it. But I've been watching some replays. And I'm noticing kind of a constant theme is my ball control seems to be a little bit off. Like sometimes I'll go be going for plays um, that I just don't quite get because my ball control isn't super on point. So it might be a area of my game that's a little lacking right now. Mm, so I haven't played this map in a while. I'm missing that. I figured it'd be good to get back on here. Hopefully I can get under 15 minutes here. I used to be able to get like under 12 minutes back in my peak day. This is a good, like, I didn't really notice it helps my gameplay too much, but it definitely does help me um, get like a sense for the ball. Like, you know what I mean? Like just the ball and your car, kind of the physics of how that works. And I've been a little bit used to playing on Octane recently, and I switched back over to the Fennec. Which, it's the same hitbox, but visually it's quite different. So, good good refresher just on how this works with Fennec as well. Like, just like little hits like this. This might be over. Yeah. Okay, it gave it to me anyway. And I might kind of get a little bit more quiet. Oh my... Fuck that, huh? Boop. Might get a little quiet on some of these. Dude, what the fuck am I doing, man? Okay. Nice, I thought I would be a little too fast there, but it worked out. It's a pretty easy level. You just drive straight on this. And I guess I can give like some tips too if anyone is struggling with this workshop. Or you can just kind of watch how I play them. Figure it out yourselves. <laughs> I, I think I have a harder time doing a backflip flick in the uh, Finnick than I do on the Octane. For whatever reason. Like again, it's just like one of those visual differences. The Octane has like those rudders on the back of it. Where it's like makes it kind of a good visual cue. Like when the ball's on the rudders, you can get it pretty consistently. I think that's over yet. Nice. All right, there we go. I like to not use the uh, car cam for the beginning, for the first part of this. And then kind of switch right here. Decent catch. Sometimes they get a little bit cocky on this. And this run right here tends to be a little bit longer. <laughs> than you think it is, but sometimes I've thrown away my dribble, like getting a little bit too cocky. I think it's good to like not go super robotic and try to get a little bit, make yourself a little bit uncomfortable while you do this. Like, like going for a backflip here, for example. And I could just go straight and have a higher percentage of completing it, which I'll probably just do now for the sake of time. But putting your like, I guess the key to getting better is just putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and like forcing yourself to do get like get down movement patterns with your fingers that you aren't used to. You know, like that that's literally how you get better. This is a tough one. Yeah. Those pillars are always a little bit annoying. They open and close pretty quickly. Oh fuck me. Alright, gotta focus up here. Ah, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm getting a little bit too close to the edge. I always go to the right here for some reason. I guess I just get scared of this pillar as well. 
I go, go way too close to that edge usually. Okay, concentrate. One more. Wait for it. Go. Nice. I think you just can single jump here. I'm probably gonna single jump this as well. Sometimes I think you could just drive off it, but it's a little bit easier if you jump for me because it gives you more time. Like it's easier to adjust your car to catch to get a better catch, if that makes sense. Okay, this level, you just have to go a little bit slower than you think you would on this level typically. So I actually speed up to slow down if you guys kind of understand. That makes any fucking sense at all, but you have to speed up to get the ball on your back of your car so that you can slow down. <clears throat> like again, I don't really know how useful this is because even if you're playing like 1v1, going for dribbles like this is kind of, you know, not not that great a lot of the time, you know, it's because when you get dunked when you're dribbling the ball like this, you just kind of just get fucked. Um, but I do think this is a good, like, it's good for, um, even, like, you go for little cheeky touches, you know, to just try and just get used to, like, touching the ball softly to yourself, you know what I mean? Just go little, little jumps like this, maybe. In like a pressure situation, you know. All right. This level has a tendency to frustrate me sometimes if I'm not focused. All right, then we go, we wait for the right on this one. Just gotta have patience. Then we go on the left on this one. Then we go, I think we go, I'm gonna wait for the right even though this is how I always get screwed over. Come on, come on, come on, nice. Like, I really had to slow down there. I could have sped up and gone through the left, but works out. Alright, level 25. <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. I tend to always, like, I tend to kind of, I think, take these ramps a little bit easier than, I don't know, I never, I never really struggled with these levels with the ramps. I think it might just come a little bit more naturally to me. I'd much rather do the ramps than do like the jumps like this. Kind of want to jump more to the right there, give myself a little bit more time, but I think this should work. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <sighs> Gotta go fast. The um, last two levels are really annoying to me. I might, I might just give up if I can't beat them. Especially since I haven't done this in a while. Oh, go. Go, 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 go. Fuck me. Okay, I have to keep my speed there. Go on the right side, I think. Ooh. Speed. Speed, bitch. What did I just say? <laughs> Alright, no more fucking around. This should work. And you don't really, you don't want to go too fast either because then you can literally get to the point where you can't keep up with the ball. So it's kind of balance, balancing going fast with keeping the ball in your control as well. Oop, I almost just fucked up. This level, I guess, is kind of annoying too. Yeah, <clears throat> I think you definitely go to the right here first. Or it's easier if you do this. And then cut to the left. Come on. Come on now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, yeah. I gotta go faster. Speed. I am speed. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Dude. Oh, no. I have to go slower. Slow down. I'm just feathering the uh, throttle button here. There we go. This makes more sense. Much easier. Got to get this turn here. Uh, 
Uh oh. I gotta slow down. Nice. Pretty difficult level. I think the, the last three are pretty tough. This one I always... I know I, earlier I was saying like uh, ramps are fine, but this one I have, I always have trouble with. <clears throat> so ramps maybe are not fine. Fuck, dude, these fucking ramps, dude. With the, uh, the pillars. The pillars weren't here, man. I mean, that's the point of the level though. Go. Okay, nice. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. All right, stay in front of this. Uh-oh, nice. Kind of a little lucky catch there. All right, nice level. The, the hop of mama. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I have a chance to get under 12 minutes here. If I can get this in a few tries. Gotta slow it down, I'm going way too fast here. Slow, 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 slow. Ah, not that slow. Nice. Okay, and then after this catch, we just immediately go to the left here. Ah, that's tilting. Fuck. Come on, slow down, slow it down. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Slow to the left. Nice. Nice. Let's go. I think that was probably under 12. Um, yeah. So, okay. I don't know how, like, helpful this is, like, for the... Um, overall gameplay but it does kind of give you confidence just for like ball like even when you're like aeroling and just kind of touching the ball i think what's important is that when you do this map you're not like super sweat mode but you're more kind of you know you're going for things that are making you a little bit uncomfortable pushing your comfort zone just a little bit um because yeah that's how you get better okay i um, hope that was kind of fun yeah, good video.